to Ray, did the FBI ask financial institutions to turn over their customers? You have the time to me. Did the FBI ask financial institutions to turn over their customers' debit and credit card purchase history in the Washington, D.C. area for January 5th and 6th, 2021? Uh, I don't know the answer to that as I sit here right now. Well, we do. Because Bank of America gave us this email from the FBI to Bank of America. Well, I am aware that Bank of America provided information to the FBI, but what communications occurred between the FBI and Bank of America about it? Let's read it. To recap our morning call, are you... We are prepared to action the following threshold. Customers transacting debit card, credit card, Washington, D.C. purchases between 1521 1621. That's scary enough. But then the next bullet point's even more scary. Any, any historical, capital letters, all capitals, any historical purchase of a firearm. You guys asked financial, it's the least Bank of America. We think more. Did you guys ask him? Again, I don't have the full sequence of the back and forth. You've got one, looks like you've got one email that I haven't seen before here. Um, so I don't know that I have the full exchange that this well, is. Does this email trouble of. you as much as it does members of the Judiciary Committee that the FBI is asking for every single? I mean, we had members of Congress here that week. First time they're getting sworn in as a new member of Congress, their family in town, and you're sweeping, and they may happen to be a customer of Bank of America, and you're sweeping up every debit and credit card purchase of their family who are in town that week because their, their husband or their dad or their mom is getting sworn in as a new member of Congress. And then you're also saying, overlaying that information with, did, you, did this person buy a firearm? And the question is? I'm just nervous about that. Are you nervous about that? As as I think I've testified before, my understanding is that our engagement with Bank of America uh, was fully lawful, but that we recalled the leads that were cut to field. Well, if off. it's lawful, that's that was my next point. If it's yeah. lawful, why did you say we're not going to use these leads? That's what Mr. Jensen testified to when we deposed him, the director of the terrorism unit at, at, at the FBI. That's what he testified to. Why did you why did you not use the leads if it was lawful to get the information? Well, there are Chairman, it's of, one minute and 18 seconds over time. There, there are, sir, there are plenty of times where there are things that we lawfully can do, but that we decide is better that we not do. And yeah. I think that's what the happened. The idea that Mr. Massey said earlier, that this is lawful, that you can ask this is scary. This is something else we're going to have to change.